you guys, this is like the most perfect Saturday afternoon that I'm about to do. Please join me. Also, I'm blonde again. I like showed it on my Instagram and TikTok, but this is the first video of it on YouTube. It feels really funny because this is like my natural hair color, as in what I was born with and stuff. So when I looked in the mirror after he did it, I was like, oh my God, like, I don't know. I feel, I feel younger and I feel like maybe I look younger. I don't even know. It just felt right. I got it done at Samantha Cusick uh, by Jack and Demi. And we're using great lengths, hair extensions. All of that information is on my Instagram. You can check it there because today it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday afternoon. And I thought, why not bake some cookies? Um, I made some chocolate chip ones yesterday. <laughs> Here's some that I made earlier. And I have to say, they are amazing. Like, look at this. Does that not look like, okay. <laughs> like a Millie's cookie kind of vibe. And they're so moist in the middle. I thought today, let's make some more. I had some batter left. I loved the recipe, but we're gonna do white chocolate and raspberry ones. Who am I? No idea. And I've left the recipe down below that I'm following. Bearing in mind, I've done half of this because like I made this with the, amount of ingredients in the other recipe and that's just too much for one person so i've halved this recipe and i just thought it would be fun to bake some cookies catch up with some questions that you guys want to know do you know what it's a saturday afternoon let me have some i'm in my like housewifey era slash i don't know i'm just feeling it let's have some fucking rosé all right why not Bit of rosé, bit of cooking, bit of catching up, Steve. Steve, you just mind everyone there for a second. Oh, God, yes, and my mum got me these new wine glasses from TK Maxx, didn't she? Okay, let's get you off because suddenly all of my cookies will have hair in them. But, yeah, I thought if this doesn't inspire you guys to have a bit of me time, a bit of, like... There's just something about cooking and drinking some wine. These are what my Saturday like afternoons are like these days. <laughs> nothing, nothing too crazy. And I absolutely love this rosé. It's the Minuti. I said that right. Minuti. Minuti. It's French. Provence rosé. Gorgeous bottle. It's giving me spring vibes. Oh. Cheers to this amazing afternoon I'm about to have. And yeah, I've got your questions up and I have done a little bit of the work already because as much as I love to think I can multitask and I am just amazing, I can't, can't be asked to like read the ingredients out while trying to read questions and like all sorts because I probably will like have, I'll collapse from stress. But anyway, cheers. Oh my God, this glass. The thin stem. Guys, okay, right, that's one thing we're gonna address. I wasn't sure if people noticed because I noticed and I really hate myself. I don't realize that I'm doing it, but I saw a comment on my last video and I was like, it's not even a, hate, a hateful comment because I literally agree. Why do I talk and go up at the end sometimes? Like, I really don't know how to stop it. So I'm gonna try and be quite mindful of it. Anyway, let's just start. Like I said, cheers. Okay, so before we jump into the questions, let me just tell you how I've prepared myself. I've mixed the butter, sugar, vanilla extract, and an egg into this big bowl, into, into the big bowl. This has the flour, bicarb of soda, or if you're American, baking soda, um, and a bit of salt in it. And we're now just about to like fold this into this. And we're gonna add the chocolates. You wanna make sure your raspberries are frozen and then we can pop them in the oven. So let's go with the first question. Funny question, situation ship slash boy update. Like, come on, Rachel, let us know what's going on. Well, you say that as if like, obviously there must be something going on, but what happens if there's not? What, what if? I am just meant to be eternally single. Oh, yeah, there's not really a huge amount to update 
<laughs> I wish there sort of was. I mean, what counts as a situation shit? Like, I don't really know. And is that even something that you would want to admit to? Do people like want to be in situationships? Because I don't. I want to find someone that just right off the bat is like, yep, she's the one. No convincing, no games. Like, is that not just the dream? And sadly, that's just not been the luck of the draw for me, but I'm not mad about it. I saw a tweet or like something once that said people that are like really independent, it's like a sign that they've just been kind of let down a lot. And that really resonated with me. Anyway, by the way, my dough looks like this right now and it looks stunning. And I think you have to add the chocolate and then the raspberries. Oh God, it's got like snow on it. Yeah, so I don't actually know how we got onto that. But yeah, not really a situation shit or like boy situation that's like needing to be discussed because, oh God, I hate making a mess. Because yeah, there just like isn't one. I don't know. If anyone has any eligible bachelors that are like, oh my God, it's the chocolate first, Rachel. This is what happens, guys. See, I can't multitask. I'm sure it's not the end of the world, but I just need to make sure that I'm doing it right. Anyway, next question. I've had loads of questions about like weight loss and like the journey that I'm on and, and like things like that. And it's funny, like all of these questions while I'm making white chocolate chip raspberry cookies just made a big batch of chocolate chip cookies and i'm drinking right eh? but i haven't i don't know i feel like because of my operation at the beginning of the year i wasn't able to exercise so i was definitely just being more mindful of like what i was eating because i was like i can't exercise to like equal it out, do you know what I mean? Like if I was eating more, but I was exercising more, then you know what I mean? So I was definitely being a lot more mindful of like what I was eating. And guys, everyone says it and we don't believe it until it happens and I'm gonna be another person that says it, but I wasn't drinking either. And I think that made a big difference to my face because I've had a few questions being like, what have you done to your face? Like what? slimming work have you had done to your face and the answer is i put the rosé down it's definitely now more of a treat like it's not every weekend let's neck the rosé type vibes which i'm being completely honest was my go-to drink for like everything because it's just easy isn't it like oh let's just split a bottle of wine and stuff but you know because i wasn't really drinking and yeah haven't been drinking the wine it makes such a difference and it's funny because i feel like i definitely noticed but then in the recent times when i have been like having a drink and stuff i can really notice again I'm like, oh, like i feel like my face looked slimmer after going out and having that rosé it really does puff up your face which i just think is the hard truth of it because rosé especially like in the summer I can't wait to be out on my balcony with like a crisp glass of rosé, like in the sun. Hopefully I'm engaged by then. <laughs> but no, you know what I mean? Just like crisp rosé is a vibe, but definitely if you're wanting to like slim down your face and find that you, your go-to drink is wine, uh, it's so painful, but it really is like, I think, what's made the biggest difference. So I'll probably wake up tomorrow with a puffy face. It just depends if you think it's worth it or not. Guys, we've only done two questions, but the batter be battering. Like, wow, so let's get the baking tray. Oh, Steve, I thought you were dead. Hey guys, baking tray and learning from experience, unless you want big, glorious cow splats, do them small. So we'll probably end up doing like a few batches, which is good. Well, one batch is in can answer some more questions um again i definitely had which i'm surprised about because i've definitely not mentioned it or yeah really spoken about it for a long time 
loads of questions about the like my i'm actually gonna add some i'm just gonna add all the white chocolate eggs and the raspberries are slowly but surely taking over this batter um loads of questions about am i still considering or wanting to get a boob reduction now again a big thing when it comes to like weight loss as well which is i was fully aware of and i thought this might happen and it's really annoying is that you for a lot of people something on my face just the one place that you lose weight from is your boobs and that's definitely happened to me like the only thing is, is like i still have big boobs i still fit into oh my god this feels like ice cream let's like just practice oh god i think i've done too many rock too much raspberries crap these are just like raspberry balls okay well let's just like see what this does oh my god okay let's just do these four how long for 12 minutes hey siri set timer for 12 minutes 12 minutes starting now okay let's just see what happens with that batch yeah so for me I did go for a consultation, can't remember if I mentioned this or not, I did go for a consultation up in Manchester before I left, um, just to see like what their thoughts are, and they were like, are you still on a weight loss journey? I was like, yeah, I think so. So they, the number one thing they said is, okay, like we can sort of talk about what we would do like right now, but things could change if you lose more weight. So if you still want to lose more weight, then do that, only really get surgery, like, once you're at the body that you want to be because weight loss and going to the gym and stuff can actually do some things for you that you're like oh you know like maybe I don't need the surgery and stuff anymore but for me I think it's the volume and what I really wanted but he said no at this stage was a lift and an implant because I want the volume but he said that I still had too much breast tissue that so therefore if I was to put an implant in with the amount of breast tissue that I already had I would just feel like they were just so tight and it just, yeah, would be really uncomfortable for me. But I was looking at the pictures of just a breast lift and then a breast lift with the implant. And I was like, ah, but like the ones with the implant is what I want to look like. I want the volume here. So he basically said, well, then you need to, <laughs> you need to lose more weight if that's what you want, because, and like you, I had said, that is what I want to do. So he basically just said like, keep going on with the weight loss journey and we can, therefore do that one for you but if you were to do it right now i wouldn't feel comfortable like doing an implant i mean he, like he would but he'd just be like you'd just be so uncomfortable it would just feel just so heavy and tight so i respect him saying that for sure but um yeah i mean it's still things that i think about but right now i'm like not super unhappy so i'm just and while i'm on this journey like i totally understand where he's coming from to be like there is no point doing it but it is something that I think about, but not all of the time. I feel like if I was like in a relationship or just like something or, I don't know. I feel I feel kind of okay about them to be completely honest. And I'm just like going along with my, with my journey. So we shall see. And if I was to do anything, you guys would be the first to know and I would document it because it is quite like a, I don't know. I feel like it's not just a boob job, is it? It's like, you've got to find the right person, a specialist that does like an amazing job because yeah it's just like a totally different surgery that i don't like not everyone obviously not everyone gets but i feel like it's way less common than a boob job where people just kind of go anywhere and anywhere and kind of it looks it looks fine a lot of the time so don't you guys worry if i was to do something i would let you know and if the doctor is amazing i would share oh my god my friend messaged me and said how much do you love you sarah guys do you know the cat on tiktok that's called you sarah that is like i think got like a neurolo neurological problem or disease which means that she can't like move her legs and her owner like starts every tiktok being like good morning you sarah and she just she can't walk but she can kind of like move her little feet and i can't watch more than two videos without wanting to cry like she is just the cutest little cat and you can see it in her face that she just wants to like run around and play and like her owner like picks her up and like flies her around the room so she feels like she's having zoomies honestly she's the cutest little cat ever it makes me sad oh my god guys what oh, i love 
you guys don't let me forget anything. So many of you have said, what's the shoot your shot update? What happened to the guy that you approached at the event? We need the tea. <sighs> guys, I kind of just like let that go. We did text a little bit and he's like a cool guy and stuff, but I don't know. I don't ever want to feel like I'm like chasing a response from someone. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like vice versa. Like there were times when we were like texting and even I was a bit like, I, I don't feel the need to like rush and reply. I feel like it's just gonna be one of those industry people that if I see at an event that we're both at, we'll just be like, and it will be more just, like, there's no point texting. We live really far away from each other. And I don't even really know what his situation is to be honest. But in my mind, I'm just thinking, we've crossed that line of we've got each other's numbers and we've texted, but it will just be a case of, I'll just see what happens in person. If our paths cross, our paths cross. But the shot was shot off and numbers were exchanged and we did text a little bit, but no need for every day. It's, like, it's not ever gonna be anything like that. But who knows? Who knows my turn then? <gasps> Someone said travel plans for 2024. Tell me why I've got none. Nothing booked, nothing in the diary. A lot of things for me are quite last minute. I was meant to go on a brand trip in January with L'Oreal, I was meant to go skiing. Ah! And it just looked insane, but because of my operation, my nurse really advised me not to go. Um, and I wouldn't want to put that stress on anyone because going skiing, God, it's so easy to injure yourself. And I'm not the best skier, I've only ever been skiing once. So, you know, and it's so core focused, real like, tension on your core and just if something was to happen to me wouldn't want that on the l'oreal team and it, it just wouldn't have been worth it in the end like if i spent the whole trip in the freaking hospital i'm sure that wouldn't have happened but you just never know so that was my only travel plan and that would have been a great start to the year but i feel like everything happens for a reason i've got nothing booked but i really want to do a little bit more of like europe i'm sorry i've got to fucking go to turks and caicos i was thinking about it the other day because I think a TikTok came up of like Drake's little spot in Turks and Caicos and also let's come back to Drake in a minute because tell me why some of you guys have asked me about that. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, a TikTok came up of this girl that was there and I don't actually particularly wanna go to that spot. I feel like he's ruined that spot for himself now because I feel like everyone every year will go in the hopes of like seeing Drake there but I feel like I was first introduced to Turks and Caicos through Kylie Jenner. Like, did she not used to go on all of her big birthday trips to Turks and Caicos and or like the Kardashians or something? And it does just look insane. I need to be in tropical water. And guys, this sounds so bad. I don't tan like naturally. Well, I did used to, but then when I was younger, I burnt myself so badly that I think just my skin went we're never doing that again and for me to actually tan i have to like sit i just i don't find it very comfortable sitting in the sun i just get sweaty i've got big tits and a belly like and just the sweats sweats the sweats getting everywhere i'm just uncomfortable and i feel like a beluga whale so therefore i'll just never tan because i can't stay in the sun long enough do you hear me and then i also get sunstroke quite easily so my dream holiday would be to go to like the Bahamas or Turks and Caicos or something, but to sit in the shade, probably be like alone or with like a small group and just have my headphones in or read a book to be honest, but like in the shade, but just looking at how beautiful it is and like, I can't believe that I'm here, but yeah, <laughs> which sounds pathetic. But I wanna do a little bit more of Europe, but I'm definitely more of like a city girl. Like I wanna do like Barcelona, and I would love to go to Prague, just like, I don't know, like cities where there's a bit of culture to them and see some sights and like have some good food, you know, definitely more places in Italy, I would love to go. So yeah, I just need to get booking. I wanna do more staycations as well, I love a staycation, like even in the UK. <gasps> guys, the cookies are done. Cookies are done. Oh my God, you guys, look at them. They look gorgeous. Now, I was suddenly a bit concerned. I was like, ah, the middle bits don't look 
cooked, but it literally says in the recipe, um, bake for 12 minutes or until the edges are golden brown, which they are, the centers have puffed and are slightly underdone. That's what you want them to be, slightly underdone. Oh my God, yay! Okay, I need this baking tray again, so where shall, <laughs> where should I put these cookies? Okay, let's put them over here. Okay, that batch can stay there. This is the problem when I do these Q&As. Um, a lot of the questions are the same, so I feel like I don't answer, like, a lot of questions, but I do, they're just a lot of the same, same stuff. <gasps> okay, someone said, have you been watching Love Island All Stars? No, and it sounds really stupid. Like, I watched like the first couple of episodes, I think. Oh my god, I'm one of those people that needs to like wash their hands after anything. And this just feels funny. What? Oh, oh, this is really sending me. Okay, we're only gonna make three cookies from this one. That's fine. Oh my god, there's crap all over my hands. Crap all over my hands. Oh God. Right, 12 minutes is perfect then. Hey Siri, mm -hmm. set timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, starting now. <gasps> Yay. Okay, let's carry on. So, the, the long and short of it is, no, I haven't been keeping up with it. I watched the first couple of episodes and I don't know, it wasn't as interesting. I know it's obviously got like way more interesting, so I feel like maybe when it ends, I will just like use that to binge watch the whole thing. And also I have really been focusing on Game of Thrones. So I find it hard to like watch two things at once, especially when it's like a series that you need to like keep up with. I know they are completely different. One is Game of Thrones and one's fucking Love Island. But also it's just funny because I know a lot of the people that are in Love Island, so a part of me just like can't get on board with that it's like real. I don't know, does that sound funny? Like, I wasn't even convinced it was live. I thought it was filmed in the summer. Like I, I just wasn't convinced that these people were actually in there right now. But I've been told that they are and I'm like, all right, but I don't know, I'm not, I wasn't convinced. I feel like they just signed an NDA to like not post a single thing while this was all happening and they're all sat at home like watching it. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I convinced myself it happened. Like, I don't think Maya Jam is there. I don't know. I feel like Pat pics get leaked of her, like, in, like, America with Stormzy. So unless she's darting between, where are they? South Africa and America. I don't know. I just, I would, if I'd been paid, like, I don't know how much they get paid to go in there. Maybe, like, 25 plus K to do that and then therefore for the next six weeks to or until you come out to sit at home and don't post i would do that who wouldn't do that but i have seen it's been getting good and it's been getting juicy but i feel like i just i feel like i'm watching it because it's just all over tiktok and instagram and stuff so i don't necessarily feel like i'm missing out oh my god someone said you should do a week's worth of dates videos seven days seven dates i can't do that I am so, I don't know if this is very like Libra of me, it probably isn't at all, but I can't focus on more than one person. I don't know how people just go out and date, like I'm so fixated. It's because I don't just go on dates if I don't think I could end up liking this person. Do you know what I mean? I can only be interested in one person at one time and then if that doesn't work out then I actually resign for like two months. I can't face another person until I face another person. Do you know what I mean? So I seven dates a week with seven different people would completely throw me off. And that's just not my vibe. But I need other people to do that. Because I would love to watch. Oh, a lot of you guys asking me about the podcast and I do think about it often i feel like i never really said i didn't really ever address why i stopped doing it i just kind of stopped doing it and it was just because i don't know i felt like i was spreading myself a little bit too thin i love youtube so much 
and then I was really getting into TikTok and I just feel like annoyingly we obviously have to keep up with Instagram as well. Guys, keeping up with four and then if I was doing a podcast, bearing in mind on my own, no team, no co-host, you know, no, I feel like I would love to have a studio that would therefore like get me out of the house to do it and stuff. Recruiting guests like on my own, because like I said, um, when I was doing it, I was with a different management and I just feel like I would have wanted them to have like helped me a little bit more, but like everyone that I got on my podcast, the first series, I was doing it all on my own. And yeah, like it was just, it was a lot. And then, yeah, I just felt like, what well, if I'd done like a vlog for the week where I'm like talking to you guys and catching up and stuff, and then I was like gonna do a podcast where I'd have to like sit and like talk for an hour, I just feel, felt like I was burning myself out. I really loved doing my interviews. But annoyingly, like I need to find, or maybe I just need to put like the more effort into it. If I'm being completely transparent, at the time that I was trying to do it, and there were like obviously all of the other podcasts out there, the ones that do the best and get the most attention and people like really like tune into are kind of the ones with the same old guests and they're just like people within the industry and stuff. And I, don't get me wrong, love listening to that, but I didn't want to be another one of those because there's so many. And I feel like as a person on my own, I feel like it would be good to be interviewing people. I think having two people on a podcast is great. Either you're as a duo or you're one person and you're interviewing someone. And obviously I really love a podcast that you can take something away from and you learn from it and it's quite educational, which is why I loved interviewing experts. But again, it, were pe it was people that I had gone out and discovered on my own that I really wanted to talk to, but obviously they were like authors of a book and you know, fetish experts that people have never heard of and stuff and therefore perhaps as I wasn't doing a visual like on TikTok in a studio and stuff wouldn't have been as engaging and popular as as such because I wasn't doing visuals I was just doing interviews with them because a lot of the time they were overseas and stuff and again because they were people that are like professionals in their field which I find really interesting but people aren't necessarily searching for them all the day all the time they're not mainstream in that sense I don't know it sounds really bad and you should do things that you love which I did absolutely love doing that but sometimes when you don't necessarily see the I don't know, what's the word I'm thinking of? Don't necessarily see the... Oh, I can't think of the word! The return as such, like people were listening and that was like amazing and stuff, but it, it yeah, when you, and then again, when you're doing like YouTube and TikTok and stuff, it was just, if I was to let anything go, it would be that because I, that's where I wasn't seeing as much of like, engagement and return which makes me sad because i wish people were as interested as me at, in things like that and like being educated and just like curious and i don't know i was just willing to like cross the line you know so i don't know spotify if you're listening and you want to put a fat ton of funding behind a podcast where i'm actually interviewing experts and educating people and asking the questions that people maybe are too scared to ask with really fascinating people that deserve to be put on the map, let me know. Cause I would love a studio and to like get these people in, you know? But yeah, I feel like that's the update on that. When, how long have these got left? Okay, four minutes. What can we answer in four minutes? Lots of you guys asking about like my flat and stuff. And I feel like maybe in the next video we'll do like a spend the week with me vlog where I can show you kind of all of the things that I've been doing at home because I got some new sofas which are insane. I love this fabric. I've not seen anyone with this fabric and it's the comfiest sofa ever. By the way, I've got the rugby on. I've got the Six Nations on and it's England versus Wales. My parents are actually there like at Twickenham watching it right now and my dad is English, supports England and my mum is like a quarter Welsh so she always supports Wales so Wales have scored a try and what's it? And they kick it through. A try and a something. Anyway, they got seven seven points. One's worth five one's Oh my god, I've actually forgotten the rules of rugby suddenly. 
that's really bad of me. I'm a rugby focused family, really. Anyway, it's England nil, Wales seven, so my mum's probably absolutely flapping around and my dad's probably swearing his head off. Anyway, um, somebody said places to go in Guildford. <laughs> There's nowhere, jokes, there are places to go. Where do I go? I feel like Guildford's better to go out for dinner. Do you know what I mean? Love the Ivy, love the Ivy Asia. L the thing is, is that I love a pub and obviously Guildford's absolutely riddled with pubs. So, yeah, just the pubs in Guildford are great. Uh, I'm trying to think. They've kind of done up the like strip of clubs and stuff, but I've never ventured down there really since moving back. Because for me, it used to be casino, bar 13, like they would be the places to go on a night out. But it's not casino anymore. It's something called Orcs. I feel like it's a bit more like drum and bass and that's not really my vibe. And bar 13 is now, forgotten the name of it. Like, I don't know what it's become. But it's something, but there is something on the corner called Y Bar, which always looks popping, but I've never ventured in there. It's always been too busy to go in. So, don't really know, but I do, yeah. Do you love me, the pubs in Guildford or the surrounding areas? Again, a lot of you guys just asking how I'm feeling about moving back to Surrey and moving back down south um, and things like that. Um, honestly, especially with a lot of the things that have that have happened to me and just like with my family and stuff like that, if I was still up in Manchester and like four hours away from them, I would have been, I, just, I don't know if what would have been different, but like, yeah, I just can't imagine not being as close as I am and being able to support and then being able to support me and help me like Yeah, I can't like I'm so glad that I did but but then it just makes it all the more special when I do go back up to Manchester And that is the way that it used to be but like that was kind of in my like really early 20s And then I thought you know what I want to spend my like early 20s up there So I did but then as I got older and your priorities change kind of got everything out of Manchester that I wanted to. Moving back down south to be closer to my family and um, be a little bit more closer to London where a lot of like work things are happening and just seeing all of those people again. Yeah, definitely has worked out for the best and I'm so glad that I did. So funny, uh, why have I got like a few questions being like, do I have any siblings? Um, yes, I have one sister and she, I don't, she's not really like on like social media, like she lives in London, so like it wouldn't be necessarily in any of my vlogs. But we have said we really want to go on the traitors together because we do not look alike at all. Like um, when we say, oh yeah, we're sisters, a lot of people go like, oh yeah, like, oh, the second batch is down, hang on just taken them out and left them over there. But um, I've actually put the others back in because they've come out and the top has risen and it looks a little bit underdone and the other ones, it just looks a little bit too undercooked. So I put them back in, but we'll do that for a couple of minutes. But um, yeah, we've said that we want to go on the trace because we don't look alike at all. And we would go in and not tell anyone that we were sisters, you know, like Ross and Diane, because, um, what was it? I've forgotten the guy's name, the guy with the ginger hair that everyone thought was Diane's son. But then she was like, he's not my son. But Ross says, like, yeah, me and my sister would um, not tell anyone that we were sisters. And I think we'd get away with it, to be honest. Oh, someone said, would you ever move back to Australia? Would love to see that content. Oh God, I don't know. I don't know. I do definitely want to go, but to go, you have to really make the most, to really make the most of it, go for like a couple of weeks and I just get too homesick. I would miss Stevie so much. So that's kind of really been putting me off a little bit, but God, I want to go. But then again, so many people from where I live have moved to Australia that I'm like, God, I've been going to Australia to like get away from here for a little bit. And I'd probably see half the people that I see down the pub, honestly, stress. What should we end on? Let's end on, somebody said, any projects coming up? And the answer is yes. One very exciting one towards the end of the year that I feel like is just very me, very excited about it. Um, I wonder if you guys could guess what it is. It's not makeup and it's not clothing. So that's all I'll say on that. But yes, I feel like things 
in this industry, it's funny, like they come, they can come in quite quickly um, and the turnaround is like quite quick. So it's quite hard to say, but I definitely, yeah, we've got one thing towards the end of the year. Um, I'm very excited to be working with some exciting brands like throughout the whole year that's already in place. And yeah, just kind of working on my own content. I feel like I'm kind of finding my niche a little bit, which is just super exciting. But yeah, finish this. Guzzle a rose. Let's see what these cookies are looking like. I just need them to cook a bit more. Okay, let's leave those in there, but guys, I don't want them to fall. Okay, I've just put these on another one, but these look so much better. Look at them. Oh my god, I am so excited. Right, I'm just like to tidy up and clear up. But this was so fun. I hope you guys love my hair. I'm really annoyed. I curled it. Should have done a little bit of a looser curl, I think. But it'll drop. It'll drop. I really hope you guys love the hair. Love the life updates. Inspired to just have a little afternoon with yourself. Cooking, having a bit of rosé, which dare I say. Perhaps a wee bit more me, darling. That's actually enough, Rachel. Calm down. I'm going to have a chill evening now. So excited to have some night cookies and with a cup of tea, bit of ice cream, something gorgeous like that. But yeah, baking, I found it quite therapeutic recently. Not sure why, it just allows me to like, not necessarily like be on my phone, but just like have a moment, feel proud of myself, make something delicious and just feel like inspired. I don't know, I don't know. And I brought some over to my family yesterday and they really loved it. But yeah, hope you loved this, loved the catch up. I feel like back with a vlog next week. It's a bit overdue. Spend a week with me, a little house update, show you what's been going on. But yeah, I love you guys. Everything, I say everything. The recipe to the cookies is linked down below because I just kind of put things in a bowl and put it in the oven. So if you want to use these exact cookies, I don't even know if they're nice yet. We shall have to see. Cheers. Happy Sunday. Bye. Thank you.